Hello dear students, so this is a video lecture number 4 for software engineering. So in this video lecture, we are going to learn about prototyping model. So before, sorry, so before explaining the prototyping model, I would like to explain you what prototype actually is. In simple word, prototype is nothing but a toy implementation of the system with limited functional capability, low reliability and inefficient performance as compared to the actual software so in this prototyping model first we need to develop a prototype so that the prototyping is defined as the process of developing a working replication of a product or system that has to be engineered so in this prototyping model first we need to develop a prototype of end product then need to test and refine as per customer feedback repeatedly till a final acceptable prototype is achieved so in this prototyping models first we need to develop a prototype then we need to give that prototype to our client for evaluation try and evaluate the prototype and check whether and check whether the prototype is working according to their requirements or not if client found that prototype is well enough and working according to their requirement then they accept the prototype otherwise they reject if the client accept the prototype then only we can develop the actual product if client reject the prototype then we need to re-engineer the prototype as per their requirement so this is the way how we can develop the software using prototype model this prototype model are actually used in the situation such as user requirements are not clear technical issues are not clear and it can also be used if the requirement are changing quickly so these are the three scenarios where we can use prototyping model so this is the diagrammatic representation of prototyping model in first we need to collect the user requirements from user then we need to perform quick design after performing the quick design then we need to develop a prototype then we need to give that prototype to our client for evaluation if client found that prototype is well enough and performing all the function mentioned in hrs documents then client accept the prototype otherwise client reject the prototype if client reject the prototype then we need to refine the requirement and again we need to perform quick design then again we need to develop the prototype then again we need to give that prototype to our client for evaluation and if client accept then only we can develop our actual product if client accept the prototype then we have two approach to develop two approaches to develop a prototype first approach is rapid throw away prototyping and second one is evolutionary prototyping in evolution in rapid rapid throw away prototyping we first we need to discard that prototype and need to rebuild the actual product from beginning by developing the final srs document then we need to perform design then implementation testing then deliver and maintenance but in evolutionary prototyping model we can reuse that prototype and refine that prototype prototype and develop the final product based on that prototype so this is the two approaches approaches by which we can develop the actual product so this is the simple diagrammatic representation of prototyping model so this is a simple video where we learn about the prototyping model then i i would like to request you to my dear student please do some sort of research and please make a note about the advantages and disadvantages of prototyping models and also try to find the suitable project where we can use this model thank you